Hey, this is Mike from Run Testers. I'm here with Kieran and Nick, and we are doing a running comparison video of the Beats Fit Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro. So before getting into our running thoughts on the Beats Fit Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro, here's the nitty gritty details you need to know about these two sets of truly wireless earbuds. We'll start with pricing with the Beats Fit Pro coming in at £199 or $199 and the AirPods Pro the more expensive option at £239 or $249. Design wise the Beats Fit Pro adopt a wingtip style design with three silicon air tips options also included in the box while the AirPods Pro offer a stem design with both offering onboard controls along with microphones and hands free Siri support. Both offer the same IPX4 sweat and water resistant rating. The Fit Pro offers support for Android and iOS devices and while the AirPods Pro can technically work with Android, they're treated as standard Bluetooth headphones only. In terms of audio features, you're getting the same adaptive active noise cancellation, transparency modes and spatial audio modes across both headphones. There's Apple's H1 chip here on both two to enable automatic switching between devices and audio sharing support which works with other AirPods and Beats headphones as well. In terms of battery life, the Beats Fit Pro promises up to six hours of active noise cancellation enabled with additional 18 hours provided by the case. The AirPods Pro promises up to 4.5 hours with ANC on and five hours with it turned off. It offers more than 24 hours of listening time or 18 hours of talk time. Both offer a quick charge feature where five minutes of charge gets you an hour of listening or talk time. The Beats Fit Pro uses USB-C charging while the Pro uses a lightning connector and does work with QI certified wireless chargers. Okay, so let's talk about a key area for us, design, fit, and also we'll throw in controls there. So Nick, how have you found how these kind of compare on those fronts? Neither have nailed the fit for me in different ways. Uh, the, the Apple headphones with the in-ear tip are a classic example of um, headphones that I cannot keep in my ears while running, unless I'm wearing a headband or I buy a third-party silicon wing, which is what I have done with the AirPods Pro before. So I was really excited about the Beats Fit Pro, thinking they're going to be a big upgrade on that. And they are a lot more secure, but the way the ear wingtip is designed, it puts a lot of pressure on the inside of my ear. And if I use it for kind of two, three hours with a run and maybe some work or just a really long run, it just becomes a bit uncomfortable in a way that I don't get with... Oh, I mean, lots of wings cause me a bit of discomfort, but this is probably a little bit more. And I just, yeah, so I haven't been really delighted with the fit of either of these, I have to say. Yeah, I think for me, kind of similar in terms of, I think the Apple Pros have worked for me, but obviously they're not going to work for everyone in terms of the fit, just because you don't have those wing tips. Now, the Beats Fit Pro do have that. I had a similar issue where I found a little bit of pressure and kind of longer runs that I did with them. I just felt, I felt they were there. I felt I could notice them a bit more. And I think in terms of what you're getting with the Apple Pro, I think they, they work generally. If they work in your ears, if they don't, then you're going to have issues. But ultimately, I think you're getting a slightly better fit on the Beat Fit uh, Pro, but ultimately I've had issues with that wingtip kind of design for me personally. How about you, Kieran? I'm very different. I, I didn't actually, and I've done kind of three hour runs with the Beats Fit Pro, and I just find the fit to be much better than the AirPods Pro. I would choose them over and above. I don't get that pressure, but then I have got these quite big Irish lugs, which are you know strong and toughened by the by the weather <laughs> on ultras. I don't know. They, I, I never I didn't have any of that problem with the kind of pressure, so that's something that didn't really bother me. Having said that, the AirPods Pro, I quite like, they're quite light in the ears. Yeah. They fit me quite well mm. and I can run long with them. They don't feel like they're going to fall out. I do feel like the, fit, the Beats Fit Pro feel a little bit more sporty overall in the design. And I, I would choose them for that reason. Um, but yeah, I, yeah I, I quite like the, the fit of the Beats Fit Pro. So the AirPods are very comfortable to wear yeah. for like their entire battery life throughout the day. And stuff. They're really nice. I also would say the one pound silicon third-party wingtips I bought on Amazon to use these were a lot more comfortable than the ones on the beat which obviously have got all this ear analysis design behind them but you just need a little bit of plastic that hooks in your ear as soft as possible basically and yeah so that's why I was a bit disappointed by this wing. And also another kind of key thing in terms of when you're out running is the controls and also they, they use a, they implement a control system a little bit differently. How have you found the controls in terms of your kind of running experience Nick? I thought I'd like the, again I thought I'd like the Beats Fit Pro more because it's got a proper button but it's, it's the most sensitive button in the world so if I had to move them for the fit at all I'd set the button off every single time but if, you're not, if you are trying to use the button deliberately, it's very well done, it's very easy to use, but I did set it off a lot by accident. Yeah. Uh, whereas the airport, it's the tappy job and it doesn't do too much and they kind of want you to use Siri a little bit, which I never do, but yeah, controls, are, I, basically what I really want is tap to skip track and that works well on both. 
I'm not, yeah. I don't use a lot of the controls if I'm really honest. When, yeah. I'm, when I'm running, I whack on the music, I whack it up loud and off I go. Yeah. So I don't, I don't interact an awful lot with my headphones. I didn't mind, again, I didn't mind the controls on the, on the Beats. I, set them off. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't really, but then I, you know, I wasn't playing a lot with them. I think there's, if there is another thing about the kind of design overall though, is the case for me is, yeah. is a big thing. Old soap's there. It's like a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a running belt, it fell out, I lost it, but it's just, I don't understand why they've made it quite so bulky. Mm. And the AirPods Pro case is perfect for a running belt. Mm. It sort of slots in right nicely. It's really small and compact. I don't. I actually find them both all right because I use kind of top down belt and they slip in quite well. It is, it's just bizarrely slippery, it's, which does mean it slips into a pocket very nicely, but it is slight, It is a little bit bigger than the AirPods Pro. I'm actually surprised it isn't as much bigger. It, in my mind, it's a lot bigger than this, but actually, when you look at them side by side, it's a bit closer than I thought. But yeah. it's, a, it's as slick as a seal on a greasy <laughs> runway. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Mike? So I had, I had an issue with my running belt as well. So, I mean, I kind of use a flip belt and this kind of slipped out of my belt. So yeah, there's definitely in terms of that kind of, if you're looking for something in, in terms of that and in terms of the case and sizes, I think you know, the AirPods Pro fits a little bit nicer in terms of running belts, if you are carrying your case uh, with you. And in terms of, you know, kind of general charging stuff, it's, it's kind of, um, you've got the USB-C on the Beats Fit Pro, whereas you've got the um, kind of additional Apple kind of lighting connect as well. So that's a slight difference as well in terms of the case setups as well. Um, but this, this case, the other thing I think to know about this case, I'm not going to open it because we'll set the phone off, but yeah. the lid on this, to me, the hinge feels a little bit weak. Yeah, it is a bit. Thin, it's, isn't it? Yeah, and I, it's just one of those things that it just worried me a little bit about overall durability long term if you were and round and around. Speaking of durability, I'm surprised they didn't give these a higher IP rating as they are more sports. Now, I've done loads and loads of running with IPX4 headphones and I've never had a problem. But, you know, lots of brands make more, more waterproof, more dustproof headphones, yeah. just a little bit of peace of mind. So even though I, you know, original AirPods, actually interesting, the AirPods without the silicon tip fit perfectly in my ears, by the way, they never pull out. <laughs> but I, I've done loads and loads of running with the originals of them and they never broke or anything. But I'm just surprised that they didn't maybe with a, such a clearly sporty design, up it just a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about all important sound performance. So Kieran, let's start with you first. How did you get on in terms of, how have you found the Beats Fit Pro compared to the AirPods Pro in terms of sound? If I'm really honest, I mean, I have to put a caveat in here. I'm not a massive audiophile. I'm quite like, stick it in, make it loud, let's go kind of sort of yeah. person. I didn't really discern too much of a difference in terms of the overall performance. Uh, for me, I, I thought they were both kind of fine. Yeah. Um, I, I maybe get a bit of a better kind of overall kind of seal in the ears with the, the Beats Fit Pro, so it kind of gives me a little bit more sort of isolated sound than, than otherwise, but I, I wouldn't say there's a huge amount personally to choose between these two on sound performance. But. Yeah, I'm pretty similar. I, I, I'm not a huge, I tend to like to tinker with things. So I think a lot of headphones are probably set up more bass forward than my personal taste style, which is probably the case with the Beats. They're always quite a bass forward brand, but you can't use the EQ on either. That's a bit annoying, but I do like the sound on both of them. Like it's nice. I like the aesthetic. It's very clear. Like you can really pick out the instruments. I have no real problems with the sound at all. Uh, and I found it pretty similar across the two, I'd say. I would, for me, I think, Beats characteristically are more bass heavy and that's what I found. I mean, I do think you get a little bit more of that on the AirPods Pro. Interestingly, I, so I've used these, because the Beats Fit Pro are kind of Android and iOS, so I've used on both. I found that I got a little bit more out of the sound quality on the on the when I paired it to the iPhone. I found there was something a little bit extra in terms of the sound state. Maybe it's a personal thing, but that's kind of a little thing that I noticed between the two. But ultimately, from a sound performance, I think, this, I feel, is a little bit more balanced in terms of the sound profile. I think these are definitely a bit more powerful and bassy from, from my kind of testing, but they're both overall very good, kind of enjoyable sounds, kind of performance for running, I think. Yeah, and I, I, it's a good test of it is we go in the gym on the treadmill to try and drown out the, the music, the European, the European <laughs> <laughs> with my own European dance music. You know, they work, they work well with that, both of them, actually. You know, I, yeah. I just, and I guess the big thing is they try, sort of made an Apple AirPods Pro that's a little bit sportier, essentially, yeah, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of similarities in terms of the hardware on there anyway. The spatial audio, do you, I, when I, I used to use Apple Music, went to Spotify for a bit, obviously cancelling that now, like everyone else in the world. <laughs> I stand with Neil Young, um, but I didn't notice, that, although I did like the spatial audio when I yeah. had it, I didn't feel like I was losing a big, a big amount. I, did, I, did, I wouldn't yeah. choose one for the spatial. I basically wouldn't leave Spotify for spatial audio yeah. if you're not really already using, um, if you're not using it 
you're not using Apple Music already, so it's nice, yeah. but it's not a must. I wasn't really sure of what the, what benefit I was supposed to get from spatial audio on the run. I mean, at home, yeah. somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. listening, but whilst I'm running, I'm like, I could just hear, well, could I hear Neil Young shouting at me <laughs> from behind. <laughs> yeah. well, he likes very smallest audio, so he wouldn't like any of this. But, well, I uh, think, actually, you know, obviously, they do both have spatial audio, and I think, I guess, it's kind of, if you're on a treadmill, maybe you're watching a film, and that's how you, then, you know, you're going to get that extra kind of element. But I think, ultimately, from kind of running performance, that's not uh, going to be a major thing for most people. But I guess the two things are kind of, a and C in the transparency modes, which you do have, which I, you know, I didn't find a massive amount of difference in terms of performance of those features across the, the two headphones. I don't know how. No, I, well, I've got these back in the day. They were the first kind of sports head. They were the first headphones of A and C I tried, and I really liked them. I think because I, I, I was travelling, I was commuting every day, and they made such a big difference to that part of my life that I really enjoyed them. But now I just stay at home the whole time and go on my runs. I find I don't use ANC so much because they do, they do filter in a little bit of wind. I actually kind of think it's better on the AirPods Pro for me slightly. I think the Beats, I just didn't use the ANC at all because it was bringing in a fair bit of wind, but neither were must-haves. And yeah, they're great for general life, but I, on the run, it's the transparency mode of life and they're both really quite good on that front. Cool, and we need to talk about battery life. Now, obviously, the quoted numbers for the AirPods Pro is a little bit less than what you expected to get on the Beats Fit Pro. Kieran, how did you find in terms of the battery performance, or how have you found these two headphones? To me, they, they lived up to billing. So, and again, you know, you're in that area where there's not such a significant difference that it's going to make a difference when you're training for, you know, five or six days a week doing an hour. You're going to be charging these at the same amount of time. I found that they burnt, you know, sort of true to what the billing was. So, I, again, yeah. very little here to choose in terms of that as a sort of selling point at battery life, I think. But yeah, I think you may be getting a little bit more on the Beats Fit Pro, but not a massive amount. And then also, you, they've both got similar kind of fast kind of charging in terms of that. So if you've got the, if you've got the case fully charged and you're kind of using during week, you're topping up, you know, that battery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, the, the only other thing is that, you know, if you're actually going to use the diff, one of the difference, I guess, when I'm running long, I, I don't really want to, I'm not going to take that Beats Fit case with me to recharge on the move as much, Scott, yeah. Yeah. unless I'm wearing Maybe if I'm wearing a running vest or whatever, you know, so charging on the move, I think, is a little bit of less practical with the Beats Fit Pro than the AirPods Pro. But. So I found the experience very, very similar in terms of my use. Of I would just say that these are coming out a couple of years after the AirPods Pro, and there are a lot of headphones out there that offer more um, in a similar size. So maybe I'm a little bit disappointed the Beats Fit Pro don't offer a bigger jump. Uh, I mean, even the Beats Power Beats Pro also have a hook design. They, are, they offer nine hours. Yeah. And, so yeah, I, you know, in the case is big enough that maybe you can have a bit more battery life, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not a big differentiator between these two headphones. Okay, the big one. So if you had to pick between the Beats Fit Pro and AirPods Pro, which ones are we going to go for? Well, I haven't got mine with me. I feel left out. That I haven't got my purple <laughs> soap bar here. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go Beats Fit Pro, mainly based on kind of that overall sort of package of you know, battery life. I like the fit. I think I actually prefer the button controls than the sort of than the AirPods Pro, and they're cheaper. So for me, it's kind of an easy one. I thought this would be really easy. I thought it'd be the Beats Fit Pro, hands down. But for me, because that fit it is a little bit uncomfortable for me, I think I just if I was choosing just between these two, I'd, I'd have to spend the extra on the AirPods Pro and then buy some extra wings or something. But um, which is a shame because I thought I was going to really love these, and I, they tick all the boxes and what I was kind of hoping for and then this didn't deliver it on in in, re in reality mainly because the fit is uncomfortable for me. I think that's a key thing on paper the Beats Fit Pro has everything that makes it a better set of running headphones but I think you have to get on with that fit and I found maybe I got a better kind of experience on that side of things with the AirPods Pro but if you want that kind of more reliable kind of fit then that's what the Beats Fit Pro is going to get you I think it's going to get you a bit more kind of powerful to uh, sound performance as well the battery up a little bit more as well but I mean if it was my money and obviously these are more expensive the AirPods Pro I would probably still go for these even though these are a little bit cheaper okay so there you have it that is our take on the beats fit pro against the apple airpods pro as always if you've got any questions for us let us know in the comments like and subscribe hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos and yeah we'll see you for the next run testers video